You've probably used Google Maps before, but did you know that you can download the raw data for individual businesses from anywhere in the world on Google Maps? You can get businesses' phone numbers, websites, photos, and even user reviews for any business. I'm going to show you how to download this data in CSV format from Google's official API without writing any code. You'll first want to take a look at the Google Maps developer platform which can be pretty intimidating at first because there's a lot of things you can do with it. You can embed this in your own apps, you can do 360 degree street views and things like that, but we just care about getting raw data about businesses, which is a lot easier. So you have to go down here and look for this Places API tucked down here. I'll put a link to this below so you don't have to go and search for this on your own. There are two main endpoints you wanna use to get this data, the Places Search and the Place Details endpoints. Places search will let you search for places if you put in some coordinates. You can also put in some categories and search parameters like, for instance, I'm in desperate need of finding a barber. So I'm going to use this API to help me find that data. There are three main ways to search for places with this API. The first one is if you know the specific name of a place, you can enter a name and it'll get back the best guess of what Google thinks you're looking for. So this is not the best thing to use if we want to generate a list of places, like if we're trying to find businesses in general instead of one specific business. To get a list of places, we can scroll down and they give us two options. The first of which is called nearby search requests, in which we can put in a location and a radius. So we put in our geo coordinates and a radius and we can give it some other parameters like keywords, uh, business type, name if they're open now or not, and Google will give us back a list. It's sort of like when we're on Google Maps and I search for Barber here. That's the functionality I'd like to replicate using this API so I can get all of the business details, reviews and photos, etc., for all of these local barbers. And the last endpoint that Google provides is called this text search request, which is meant for if you don't know exactly the address, but you sort of know the address, like 123 Main Street. Again, this seems more geared towards people looking for one specific place. So we're going to focus on using the second endpoint, the nearby search request, so we can get a list of businesses matching our query. So in order to use this endpoint, we have to copy this and then use curl or something and fill in all these query parameters and experiment with this. But who wants to do that? I went ahead and built a wrapper around this endpoint over here on the Steve C data platform. Full disclosure, I happen to own this platform and it's a paid product. What this does though, is it wraps around this official endpoint we saw documented here, and it will prompt me for all of the inputs that I need, such as the location, my API key, etc. So instead of having to write my own code to figure all this out, I can just simply enter the inputs when prompted here. So I can get my own location using the browser's API, and for API key, I can get mine from Google here. You just have to have a Google developer account and it'll give you a link to where to get it. So go to the Google platform console and it will deep link you into the Maps API if you follow this link. So just go over here, find Google Cloud Platform and go to Google Maps. And then under credentials, you'll see some API keys. If you don't have a key yet, you can click here and then under create credentials up here, you can click API key and you'll get a new API key. So once you have your key, just copy it and you can put it in this prompt. If I were to run this right now, I would get all of the businesses around me, which I don't want. I just wanna get barbershops. So there are two main ways I can filter the types of businesses. The first one I wanna consider is looking at the supported types of businesses that Google will return. So there's actually a whole list of these predefined categories that Google gives you. So if you search for, let's search for hair, you'll see that there's already a hair care category. So I can just use this as my type. And you could see here, there are lots of other types. So based on the type of businesses you're trying to target, maybe you're looking for drugstores, dentists, restaurants, you can just put this type in here. And then based on the coordinates you provide, Google will give you businesses of those types from that location. And then under query, I can get even more specific and I want to do barber. So I don't want to go to a salon, I need a haircut. I'm just gonna leave everything else as is, and you'll see the CC platform constructs the URL for me, including the get parameter, so I don't have to fiddle around with building it myself. In fact, if I click on this direct tab, Steve C will give me the curl command I could use in my own software. So I can just paste that in here and run it, and I'll get the results back directly from Google. So this is great, but what am I gonna do with this? I want to consume this in maybe a CSV file, put it into a database, 
or do something else with it. It's hard to consume this JSON file as it is. So I make the request through the Steve C data platform. It will automatically parse that JSON back and figure out the collections that I'm most likely interested in, flattening all that JSON into a series of CSV files I can download. So here are the results. It's pretty sure I'm interested in this. I can download the CSV. So now I have the results back. I can see the name of the results. I can see the coordinates here. So if I wanted to plot these on my own map or build my own app, I could do that here with all this data. I can see most of them are closed because we're still in lockdown in New York City. I can also see a few more things for the results like the average user rating, the category, the number of user reviews, and the address over here. So I get a decent amount of data back from my search request, but it's not the full deal. Like I mentioned, I also want to go deep and get individual data about each of these businesses. At this point, I want to take a look at this place ID column that Google gives me back. So I can copy this and for each of these individual codes, I can make a secondary call to get the details for each of these places. And that'll give me back the website of the place, the phone number, the reviews, and even some photos. This corresponds to the place details endpoint from the official API. So you can see it's really simple. You just put in the place ID that we got from that spreadsheet and it'll give us back all these details. You can see a sample response here from Google. So it gives you a more structured version of the address if you need it. it gives you the phone number over here, gives you an icon image, international phone number, rating, and then it gives you a list of all the reviews and the text within each review. So let's give that a try here. I'm gonna paste in the first place ID I had in my spreadsheet, put in my API key and let's run this. So now I can see I get back a single row for the business. This looks like the website. I can contact them through the website if I need to. I can see the phone number is right here. And for the reviews, Steve C denormalized it for me so I get a collection of five rows. It looks like Google only gives you back the most recent five reviews for each business. So I can download this as a CSV file. So here each row corresponds to a review. I can see who wrote the review, a link to the review, how many stars that person gave the business, and also the full text of the review. And lastly, you get the photos for the business. So here, it's kind of funky how it works. You get back this long ID uh, called photo reference, and you have to go back to the API and plug it into this URL here under place photos endpoint, and then put this code in here. And you also have to pass in your API key, and then you get the raw photo back as the response. So it's a little bit funky to get the photos, but it's doable once you have this code. So that's cool, but what if I wanna get all the details and reviews for a set of places like all of those barbers we looked at? If I scroll down here under the workflow section of the Steve C platform, I can import this workflow, which lets me put in a list of business IDs. So I can go back here to my spreadsheet and copy all these barber shops that we got and put them in over here. Then I put my API key in for Google, scroll down, and I can see that now the Steve C platform will go through each of these 20 places and get me back a separate spreadsheet combining all of the reviews together, the details including the website and phone, hours of operation, etc. So I can run this over here and give you a quick demo. So here the workflow just made its first request to the first place ID I gave it, and now it's going to the second one, third one, and so on until it goes through all 20, and then it's gonna combine all those individual rows together and send me the CSVs for all those details. So for example, here are all the reviews together in one spreadsheet. It got 100 reviews because I put in 20 places and Google gives me back five reviews for each one. So now I have all the reviews in a single spreadsheet. I can see each row corresponds to an individual review, always a fantastic experience here. If I scroll to the right, I can see the individual business, getting five for each business. So now I wanna see which barbers should I maybe avoid. I can go and find, here's a one star review, and if I scroll to the right, I'll find the business who got this review written about them. Or maybe I'm looking to start my own barber shop and I wanna see what are people complaining about. If you're starting a new business or a new app or whatever, that's usually the first thing you do. You look at negative reviews and see what's not so great and what needs to be improved upon. So you can go through this and add more businesses. Here's another one star review, figure out what are people not happy about and improve upon that. And then here are all the details. We have 20 different rows for each of the businesses we looked up. So you can see the name of the business, the phone numbers, and if you scroll, you can see the websites here. Most of them have websites. If you wanna get in touch with them, you can find their contacts and their websites. There are a couple other things like their operating hours that you get back for a few of them, number of reviews, ratings, etc. So that's the gist of the Google Maps API. I'm gonna put a link to the Steve C data platform and the official Google API below so you can Use this API if you'd like. You don't have to use the Steve C data platform. It's just a quick way to demo how to use this. 
Let me know in the comments, why did you click on this video? What kind of information are you looking to get from businesses? What more would you like to see from the Google API? And maybe it can help you out with other APIs or other endpoints from the Google platform. Let me know and I'm happy to answer more of your data questions. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay data driven.